the equality of gravitational mass to the inertial mass has troubled the minds of natural philosophers and scientists for quite some time. It was in the beginning of 20th century when Albert Einstein addressed this issue in his theory of general, th general relativity. He proposed what is now known as the principle of equivalence. According to it, any non-inertial frame that is an accelerating or decelerating frame can be viewed as an inertial frame with a gravitational field and vice versa. That is, any gravitational field can be viewed as a non-inertial frame. This was the pivotal idea which went into the building of the general theory of, later, general theory of relativity later on. Here I have got a very simple device and equipment explaining or demonstrating this principle of equivalence. It has got an about two feet of a arm rotating on a pivot. At one end, I have got a candle, which I'll be covering with a, after lighting it, I'll be covering with a long lamp glass, whose upper end is narrow and long, to prevent it from disturbing the, the airflow, uh, disturbing the candle flame. Now I'll set up the equipment. Now you can see here, the candle flame is upright pointing towards the sky and now as I will rotate it, you watch the shape of the flame. You saw just now that while the candy, candle is stationary, the flame points upwards. When we rotate the candle, it is expected that because of the centrifugal acceleration, everything will fly outwards. But the opposite happens. The flame, instead of moving outwards, starts moving towards the center of the rotate, towards the axis on which it is rotating. And that is because this rotation can be seen as a gravitational field pointing away from the axis and like as is happening now that the flame is pointing upwards away from gravity similarly while it is rotating the flame starts pointing towards the opposite direction to the gravitational field.